Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex, aka Audio Ignite. Over the past year, I've done a ton of presentations on the Akai Advanced 49 all over the country. And in this exclusive video for MachineMasters.com, I'm gonna cover what you need to know. So enjoy the video. The Akai Advanced Controllers comes in 25, 49, and 61 keys. And what makes this different from any other controller in the market is the VIP software. The VIP software pairs up with the controller, so from the controller you have a screen that gives you a visual feedback of what's going on on the computer. In short, you don't have to do a lot of click, dragging, mouse clicking on the computer. This is all accessible from the controller. You can jump over to the main section, you see what the DOS are supported as far as DAW presets. You see Logic Pro X, Cubase, Bitwig Studio, Ableton Live, FL Studio, and you can create your own. Now, but the key thing to know is that the transport control and the knobs are MIDI assignable, so you can map them out to the transport of your DAW or map them out to different parameters. The browser section is the meat and potatoes of the controller. The reason being is that this gives you information of all the plugins that you have installed on your computer and gives you access to all those patches from here. It does come with plugins, Air Music Tech plugins, and also Sonibox plugins. However, the key thing is that it supports third-party plugins. So if you have a complete 10, Complete 9, Arturia, Omnisphere, those plugins will show up and automatically populate. So let's test this out. We'll load up Predator, this is from Rob Pappen. And these are all the Predator patches. In fact, there's a number here showing you how many patches there are in that plugin. In this case, we have 4,178 patches or presets that live inside of that plugin. So I can easily scroll from the controller and just start auditioning different patches. Now, if you're looking for a specific type of category within the plugin, you can jump over to the next page where you have instruments. Here I can choose bass, and it's going to filter out all the bass patches inside of that plugin. Now, if you want to filter out even further, you can jump to another window here called Timbers, and you can choose um, dark. So now it's going to filter out all the dark bass patches within that plugin. And you can kind of see the power of this as far as navigating through sounds really easily without having to do a lot of click mousing on your computer. So we'll go ahead and just reset these tags and go back to the top. And one of the questions that I get is, hey, if I'm using a plugin like Massive and it's got you know over 100 different parameters, how does it know what to map out to? Well, the VIP intelligently maps out to the most commonly used parameters of a plugin. However, you can change that also. So here, for example, I have bank A, I have the eight knobs across, and I have the screen showing me what's mapped out. So in this case, knob number one is set up to the main volume. Knob number two is the filter frequency, the resonance, and so forth. And I have four banks. So I have bank A, bank B, C, and D. So 32 controls. If I hit the control button again, then I can see what's mapped out to the buttons right below the knobs. This is set to play mode, filter type, filter smoothing. So it's already populated for me, but you can also change that. Let me show you how. So I'm a software, I'm gonna click on learn. It brings up the plugin. And now I can touch any one of these parameters and then assign it to something else. So the first step is to just move the physical knob on the controller. There it is, it's moved. Now I'm gonna click and drag a parameter on the plugin. So we'll choose the wavetable position. And you can see that it's updated now. So now that knob one is set to the wavetable position. So you can go through and pre-map the controller to your favorite parameters of a plugin. And then if I close this, I'll disable learn. You'll see on this drop-down menu, you have this option here where you can make the control mappings your default. So that means that every time you load up that plugin, it's going to remember your mappings on the controller. So it's really cool and it's a really fast way to access the parameters that you want to work with. We'll go ahead and reset these settings here and go back to the top. And uh, the last thing I want to mention is multi-mode. So here's multi-mode. 
And multimode is a way for, um, let me say it this way. Everyone's familiar with how contact works. You can have one instance of contact on your DAW and you can have multiple sounds loaded into it. That way you don't have to use multiple, you know, contact players. You can only use one. Well, the VIP works in a similar fashion because the VIP player can be loaded up into your DAW, but you can load up up to eight plugins into the VIP player. So here, for example, I have this patch already loaded on track number one or slot number one. But let's say we're looking for a piano patch. So on the software, I'm going to go to search, type piano. And let's say we're looking for a piano patch from Mini Grand. So I can click and drag the workstation piano onto slot number one. And let's play that. Okay, now let's say that we're looking for some pads. So now we'll search for pads. And here we can see which uh, plugins have the pads. So let's choose one from Vacuum Pro. Okay, let's do one more. Let's look for strings. And if you notice, you have a mixer here on the controller. So the pads now become mutes and the knobs become uh, volume controls. So I can enable all the plugins, you know, three different plugins and play that patch together. Or I can remove the pad. Just hear the piano and the strings. Now let's say that that pad is a little bit too low of an octave. I can go here. And then I can change the key so I can transpose that up an octave. Now when I play that back, it's going to be up an octave. Okay, and I can combine that now with the strings and the piano. So you can kind of imagine what the power of the multi-patch is because you can have one instance of VIP in your DAW and it's working like a contact player. And the fact that you're loading up eight different sounds. However, these eight different sounds are actually eight different plugins. And then you can route your MIDI channels and your audio out from the plugin into your DAW. But we might cover that more in another video. So hopefully all this information is useful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the chat below. Also check out some of my tutorials from Audio Ignite on YouTube and be sure to check out machinemasters.com. Thanks so much for watching.